Do you want to take your printer to the next level? Let's go. Today I'm collaborating with PCBWay to make my work hopefully a little better, but much, much cooler. This is my Rook 2020 Mark II. Um, it's still in its infancy when it comes to being as good as I want it, but it's it's fully working and it, it's, it's perfectly fine. Um, but I want to take this to the next level. So uh, PCB Way contacted me and asking me if I wanted to collab on something and it was the perfect opportunity to do CNC parts for my Rook. Now, CNC parts is nothing new in 3D printing. You can buy kits for um, all of the most popular pr printers. Um, but this is a Rook. It's not a uh, high-end printer. You can buy some CNC stuff for the original Rook from Funzor, um, but nothing for the Mark II yet. So this one already has uh, Funzor's uh, belt kit, uh, or so, sorry, the belt cradle, <clears throat> which works great. It allows me to have even more tension on my belts. And um, the next step would be to replace other components. So I was looking at this and, and thinking, what do I need to replace to um, improve my rigidity on belts? And I found two things that needed to change. The Y gantries on both sides and the idlers in the front. That's pretty much all of the parts that are moving and are in contact with the belts. The next would be motor mounts. I don't think they are the crit critical one at this point. So I want to replace the Y gantry and the front idlers with CNC aluminium parts. And then I'll see if the um, input shaping graphs become better. So I'm going to go through how I designed this and how PCB way makes it easier for you to just order them. There's nothing special that you need to do. Put this into the website and order. So um, let's uh, go to my desktop and see how I did it. And we are at the desktop looking at the um, right Y gantry. So the uh, one on the right is the original one and the one on the left is my CNC uh, version. Um, so what I've done to make it easier to CNC is that I've simplified everything. We don't need the extra rigidity of adding more parts because it's CNC al aluminum. So I've removed the uh, spacers right here. I've removed those from the original design for my CNC work version. So I'm adding in some printed spacers um, to the CNC parts. And one important thing to note is that when you're designing stuff for CNC, make sure that you have the ability to get a round tool in everywhere. So round off every inside and outside corner to make it easier and look nicer. And also imagine that this has to be done by a machine that has a single tool just sticking out. So if you can imagine, you'll be able to follow a contour with your finger. It's going to be able to machine it on a CNC. So that is my design for my CNC um, gantry. And I'll show you how to get these in your hand with the help of PCBWay. So all you need to do is go to PCBWay.com and we are going to select CNC machining. And now I can just drag and drop any step file. Um, it cannot be an STL, but it can be a step and XT IGS, IGS, and the solid parts. Um, so I'm just going to, to drag from my uh, file explore, explorer to this window, drop it, and I have it. There's even a, a little um, picture to show you which one is which if you have multiple parts. 
Uh, quantity, I'm just going to select one. Uh, keep in mind, if you order multiple um, quantities, it's going to be cheaper uh, in per, per unit. And I left all of the settings stock. Uh, the only difference that I did was that I added a surface finish. So I added a anodized purple to mine. And that's it. So you'll be able to see a estimate. If you submit your correct request, you'll get a um, message back from PCB Way with the exact quoted price. So it's that easy to get your CNC parts from PCB Way. So let's put these stuff onto the printer and uh, let's see how them they work. And here's my new CNC parts. Um, finish is excellent. And except for the mistakes that I made when I designed them, they are pretty much perfect. I've already test fitted one to make sure that it worked for the video. Um, and I did some mistakes uh, when I modeled these. I made some holes too small. Uh, so I need to just drill them out a little bit. I'll fix these before I eventually upload these. And yeah, so I did not include threads in the um, model uh, simply just because that cuts cost by a lot. Uh, I think it's around 10 bucks per piece. Um, so threading these yourself is definitely the way to go. Um, and yeah, so let's, um, I'm going to install all, all of these. Um, they do need some printed parts. I have those printed. Um, I have the new bearings. I have the bolts. They are longer than stock, so just keep that in mind. Uh, and then I need four washers for this. So yeah, let's, um, I'm going to go install them. So, ah, and here it's all assembled my nice little um, CNC Y gantry and also my CNC um, tensioners. It's looking really nice. I've already done the input shaping and it's looking good. I'll uh, show you the results uh, in the end. So let's just do a quick um, test and see how this thing holds up. Now, I've, um, I'm just going to show you the uh, results of my quick testing. So my previous hi highest acceleration was 200,000 millimeters uh, per second per second. And this is 400 millimeters a second at 300,000 millimeters a second a second. So I'll do my three different uh, torture macros. So I don't think acceleration is my issue anymore. I think I'm still limited by flow and cooling. I have a better solution for cooling coming and I might have a better solution for flow. But right now this is a fantastic printer. Um, so I'm gonna spend the next couple of days printing and, and just enjoy it before I uh, tear it apart and do something else. Now that's the upgrade done. And I'll put the input shaping graph on screen. So the old ones were noisy and not ideal. I do realize there's a lot of other things that can impact your input shaping graph. Um, but I've maxed out the tension of the belts that feels comfortable for me. And the after grafts look better, just way better. There's a lot more rigidity. I don't think the um, Y gantries are, are um, 
allowing the X-Rail to move that much, uh, which is a good thing. I think that's the biggest weakness on this printer right now is that the printed Y gantry allows the X rail to move too much. So I think this is a good point for me to do some more research and look at other ways to improve it. I do want to thank PCBWay again for these parts. Um, I've not been paid. Um, they did send me the parts. I did have to pay for a uh, for um, imports and taxes and all that stuff. Uh, but still, it's a great help for uh, PCB Way uh, showing their support to this community. So I want to thank you for watching. If you haven't, have a look down in the description. There are some links um, to PCB Way and to my stuff. And if you have questions, leave them in the comments or hit me up over at the Rollahan Discord. And I'll try to answer it as much as I can. So if you haven't, uh, like uh, the, the video or dislike it if you don't like it. And subscribe if you haven't. So I'll see you in the next video.